I think that there is a growing awareness on the part of our churches regarding disability. Um, perhaps uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that awareness was not there. Our concern was merely to have good services and to make sure that members felt uh, content when they left. But ASNA burst on the scene about uh, 10 years ago and made a tremendous difference in the way our churches viewed disability. I think ASNA has helped our members recognize, listen, everyone is a child of God. Everyone has to be catered for. And in a sense, everyone has a disability. Even I, sitting here, I'm sure that I have some disabilities. I'm not aware of them, but, but I do. And ASNA has helped our churches recognize that we have to cater for just about everyone. Those who may have an impairment with their hearing, those who may have an impairment with their speech, whatever it is. As a church, we have to recognize that all people are children of God and we have to cater for them. So the awareness has been growing in the past few years. And I think if you should go into any Seventh-day Adventist church today and speak about disability and the need for us to cater for our disabled people, that there would be some kind of understanding of that and appreciation of that fact. Well, uh, to be frank with you personally, I feel quite old because I remember when, when Asna was born. And I'm thinking now, was that 10 years ago? I was 10 years younger. But seriously speaking, Asna has made a tremendous difference to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And the measure of that is wherever you go in the United Kingdom and you mention the word Asna today, I think nearly all our church members would recognize it, that this is a privately funded and run organization within our church that is making a vast difference to the way in which we view people. So I would like to commend ASNA on reaching their 10th birthday. Very, very well done, ASNA.